This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new color tools and color correction inside Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.4. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to keyframe a color correction. This is Lindsay. She starts outside, daylight, walks into the studio where we're lit with 32 degree Kelvin, 3200 Kelvin. We go from a nice blue color to a really ugly orange color, and she's doing it in real time. I've got to do a color balance between the two. So how do we do that? Well, for the first time, we can keyframe color correction. So I've got a marker here to indicate where she is outside, and we'll just pop on top of the marker. We'll go and add a color wheel setting. First thing I want to do is look at my black level. I'm sitting right here with that real dark shadow, so I'm going to leave that alone. White levels are too high, so I'll pull the white level down a bit. And we'll just add a little bit of richness to her and pump up the, well, how can I pump up the skin tone? Again, go to crop. Now we're back. And we'll just pull this down. She very nicely wore a black top that day. I didn't warn her we were going to videotape her. All right, so now she should be on the skin tone line. She isn't. She's a bit low. It's a mid-tone. We'll correct that. Pull that over and boost the saturation just a bit. You want to boost saturation rather than dragging this. You can get to the same spot, but it screws up your color too much. Reset. Okay, so there, close enough. She's outside. Now she walks inside. Well, where does our color change start? It starts right as she is now lit by studio light. The sun is now a backlight, and now she's fully in the studio. So I want to have the color change occur starting at this second marker, ending at the third marker. So I'll go to the second marker right here, select the clip. See this icon? This allows me to add a keyframe for color correction. I've already got the settings dialed in. I don't have to change any settings. It's already set. So I've added the keyframe. Now we'll go to where I want the color change to finish. If I change a setting, Final Cut will automatically add a keyframe. But I'm always nervous about that. So I'm going to manually set a keyframe. First thing that I do before I adjust any color is let's adjust our exposure. Let's pull the white level up. Let's pull our black level, find out where the black level needs to be, and the mids are just a mess. So we'll just pull this back a bit until we get an exposure that looks better, right about here. <laughs> now this I would clamp with the broadcast safe filter. I've got glare coming off here, which I don't care about. I'm going to let that go so I can open this up just a bit so I can see more of inside the room. So I've got my grayscale set. I do that first. I still have a bad color shift. How am I going to fix that? I know that the wall is gray. I know this is white, but notice that it's blown out, so I can't use that. I can, however, use her cheek because I've got good skin tone here. So let's just zero in on the side of Brianna's face. And let's make this big enough that we'd actually see what's going on. There we go. Okay, that's a good enough skin that I can start to pull some values from it. And look at that. It's a little oversaturated, and it's yellow. We're going to tweak the hue so we put it right on the skin tone line. Pull the saturation back because nobody needs to be that saturated. Right around in there. And now we'll go back to fit to window and reset. Done. And if we look at this, we start outside. Is that cool or what? Now I might continue tweaking this just a bit, but I did that in what, two and a half minutes? It's probably the hardest thing that we can do is to deal with different color temperatures, and yet your eye totally focuses on Lindsay walking through the space. You don't even notice the color shifting, and when she turns, her skin is the same color as it was when it was outside. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at the new color tools and color correction inside Final Cut Pro 10. 
For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 242. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.